There are three equations you've got to be able to use in this chapter. So if you like equations, this is your lucky part of the chapter. The first equation is this top equation right there. This value, this C on the left, is a constant. So I'm going to put a block around the constant. So C is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And this is the speed of light. This number is actually much longer. You know how like pi, we abbreviate to 3.14, but it's actually tons of extra numbers. The number is the same way. So you might see it as 2.99, blah, 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 blah. In this class, you use 3.00 times 10 to the eighth. It's rounded so that it's rounded to the hundredth place. So anytime you see this equation, you aren't going to be given C. You just have to remember that that right there is what C is. And then this right here is wavelength. And then the other term is frequency. And you may have seen frequency in another class, like especially high school chemistry, they'll use an F and they'll represent it instead of um, this new symbol, which is a Greek letter that kind of looks like a V, but it's not. They'll use an F. So um, in this class, you are always going to see it with this new symbol, new. They also have to come in in certain units to be able to use this equation because this is a meter this right here has to be in the unit of a meter. And then this right here is a per second. So it can be represented like this, or like this, or like, um, let's see, sometimes people just will do that. All of those are ways, are the unit that this has to be in. So if you are given a value here and it's not in a meter, you have to put it in a meter to be able to use it. And you may need to solve for this when you're given this, or you may need to solve for this when you're given this. So make sure you can solve it both ways. There's lots of practice coming up. Then the other two equations are actually related to each other, and they're these two energy equations. Now, this C that we're talking about also shows up here. So this is a constant that shows up in more than one equation, not just the top equation, but this equation over here. There's one more constant you wanna know, and it's H is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th joules times seconds. So here's our block around the H. So this is a constant, and this is a constant. So again, in a problem, you won't be given H or C. You'll just have to know that those are constants. So if they both solve for energy, how do you know which of these to use? All right, so if you're given frequency, the left equation, notice it has a frequency unit in it. Notice how the right one, it doesn't. Well, if you're given frequency, then you're gonna wanna use this equation over here. If you're given wavelength, you're going to want to use this equation because you can't solve for anything. It, like if you've, got, if you've got a frequency and you're trying to plug it in over here, like there's nowhere to plug it in. And the same thing still applies. This needs to go in as a meter and this needs to go in as a per second. And this will always come out as a joule and this will always come out as a joule. So you may be given this and have to solve for this number or you may be given this number and have to solve for this one. Same thing over here. You may be given this and have to solve for this one, or you may be given this one and have to solve for this one. So these are the three equations you need for this chapter, and there's going to be a lot of examples and practices. The trickiest bit is to make sure that you're putting things in in the correct unit when you begin.